In addition to the two things we can do to interpret box plots, um, we can also use box plots to compare several distributions. In this case, we're going to look at the different types of hot dogs to determine which one has more calories. So we're looking at beef hot dogs, uh, meat hot dogs, and poultry hot dogs. What do you see? Well, from the box plots, remembering that each of these ticks mark 25% of the distribution, or sorry, 25% of the observations. If there are about 20 observations in each of the distributions, um, that's kind of, if you look at the, the data, that's the case above. Then there's about four observations in here, about four in here, and about four in here, and about four in here to make about 20. So up here are 75% of the observations. Okay. Similarly for meat hot dogs, up here are 75% of the observations. And for poultry hot dogs, 75%, the lower 75% of the observations are down here. So what can we say? We could say that, in conclusion, poultry hot dogs have a greater chance of having less calories than meat or beef hot dogs, mainly because we see that 75% of the poultry hot dogs are going to have less calories than 75% of all the other hot dogs. Okay? So in this sense, poultry hot dogs have a le less of a chance of having more calories.